Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll install and set up RabbitMQ using Docker. Well, you can also install and set up RabbitMQ in your Windows or Linux or Mac OS. But in this course, I am going to use Docker to quickly install and set up RabbitMQ server. Well, I assume that you have already installed a Docker desktop in your machine. Well, let's open the Docker desktop. For example, if you open the Docker desktop, then it looks like this. Okay, and you can go to the Docker images, Docker containers. All right. Now, once you have a Docker desktop in place, then we can go ahead and pull RabbitMQ Docker image from the Docker hub. So go to the browser and in a new tab, just type Docker hub and hit enter and go ahead and click on the first link. So this will navigate to the Docker hub official website and in a search just type rabbit mq and hit enter and go ahead and click on this docker official image over here and just scroll down and here you can see supported tags and respect to docker file links well we're gonna use this rabbit mq docker image okay that is 3.10.5 management so make sure that you choose the RabbitMQ Docker image it contains a management tag because we're gonna use a RabbitMQ management website to explore the RabbitMQ. So go ahead and choose this 3.10.5 hyphen management you know Docker image. So go ahead and copy this Docker image name. So I'm going to copy it and just open the terminal. Well, I'm using Mac operating system, so I can use the terminal like this. But if you are using Windows, then make sure that you open the command prompt. So let me zoom this terminal a little bit and just type the Docker command that is Docker followed by full followed by Docker image name. So just type rabbit mq colon and then followed by the image name that we have copied that is 3.10.5 hyphen management so this is the command it will pull the docker image from the docker hub and then it will save in a local docker desktop all right so just hit enter so if you can see the commands pulling from library slash rabbitmq okay so this will take a couple of seconds based on your internet speed and there we go so look at here the docker image is successfully downloaded from the docker hub now in order to verify it so go to docker desktop and go to images over here and here you can see the docker image name that is rabbitmq the tag is 3.10.5 hyphen management all right so whenever you pull the docker image from the docker hub you can verify that docker image by using this docker desktop like this well, once we pull RabbitMQ Docker image from the Docker Hub and saved in a Docker desktop locally, then next we need to start this Docker image in a Docker container. So you can also start this Docker image in a Docker container by using this option over here. You can simply click on this run and go ahead and click on this run button over here. So this will start this Docker image in a new Docker container. Okay, but we're gonna use a terminal. I mean, we're gonna use a command docker command to start this docker image in a docker container so let me show you how to do it so just cancel it and go to the terminal and just type the command docker run followed by hyphen hyphen rm hyphen it hyphen p so here basically we are mapping and exposing the port 15672 so this port is for you know rabbitmq management website and this port is to connect rabbitmq you know client okay just remember here you can see two ports right 15672 so this port is for rabbitmq management website or rabbitmq management plugin and this port is for connecting our spring boot application with the rabbitmq broker by using rabbitmq client okay don't get confused with these two ports okay and followed by the docker image name all right so go ahead and hit enter so this will start this docker image in a docker container 
well if you can notice here in a log server startup complete four plugins started and these are the four plugins and within these four plugins this is a very important rabbitmq underscore management we will learn more about this rabbitmq underscore management plugin in the next lecture and again if you can notice here rabbitmq management plugin is listening port 15672 okay so if you can go to browser again and if you can just type here localhost followed by colon and then 15672 and hit enter so this will basically open a rabbitmq management website or a plugin and we're going to use this rabbitmq management plugin our website to explore more about rabbitmq and rabbitmq concepts in the next lecture all right so this is how basically we can use a docker to quickly install and set up rabbitmq locally all right i hope you understood how to install and set up rabbitmq using docker all right i will see you in next lecture